you guys have thrown a lot of bodies, new coaches. Pat Flaherty joins at the offensive line in particular. Freddie Kitchens now working hand-in-hand -hand with you. Is the lack of continuity in the coaching of the O-line, could that be an issue in developing continuity with the players on the field? And how has that process gone just collaborating with so many coaches on developing the front? Oh, I think the guys have done a really good job responding to it. Obviously, uh, Pat Flaherty has coached in this league for a long time. He's a great coach, and he's been a great addition to our staff. But Ben Wilkerson is still here as the assistant offensive line coach, and uh, exciting to have Rob Sale here as well. So it uh, seems like the guys have done a good job picking up you know, some of the new techniques that we're trying to teach or some of the different things we're trying to do with our scheme, and the guys have handled it well. Excited to be out on the field with our guys every day and to see them making progress really every time we go out there. Thanks. Dan Duggan. Hey, Jason. Last season was obviously your first season in a long time as a you know, just coordinator and a play caller. Just curious what your self-scout was like this offseason, and do you feel like you need to make any changes going into your second year here? Oh, I think, I think every year you, you go back and evaluate, uh, you know, what you did and how you did it and, and, and ways you can do things better. You know, sometimes you say, hey, we like how we do it that way. Other times you say, hey, we got we, we to gotta teach that differently or, you know, come up with a new thought or a new idea. I think, I think that's just part of the process, and that's how you grow and evolve as an individual coach, as a unit, and ultimately as a team. So we go through that process uh, really every year. And, and that's the process we went through this past year. There were some good things that we did. You know, the biggest issue with this team going into last year was obviously the turnovers, you know, over the last uh, couple of years, really just not giving uh, the, the team enough of a chance to win when you're, when you're down 31-32 on turnovers and turnover ratio. And in the early part of the year, we didn't do a very good job of that. We continued that trend. But if you look at us in the latter part of the year, we did a better job taking care of the football winning the turnover ratio, and that gave us a chance to win games down the stretch. So that was a positive thing for our team. We certainly have to build on that. We also just have to become more explosive as an offense, you know, make more big plays, score more points, and that's a process we're going through. I do think young guys playing, you know, give them a chance to get some experience. They grow as a result of that. We had a lot of young guys playing last year. I thought they got better as the year went on. They'll learn from that experience and continue to grow. We also have a couple new guys that we're adding to the mix. So try to get them acclimated as quickly as we can and continue to grow day by day. Thanks. Jordan Rana. Hey, Jason, hope all is well, man. Uh, I'm just wondering, you added a lot of different skill sets, right? Uh, you know, Kenny's a, you know, tight contested catches can make plays downfield. You have Kadarius Tony, really explosive, you know, sort of playmaker to use all over. How much does this give you the creative freedom to sort of go in and there, go in there this off season and say, "Hey, I can now put this in. I can put, you know, open the open the playbook more than maybe you did last year." Well, I think the challenge of last year for everybody around the league was we, you had limited time in training camp and no preseason games, so it was hard putting a new system in at the outset. You know, you're, you're wondering what that volume is, what guys can handle. You know, because the, the year isn't really a typical year. You don't get the reps uh, on the field in practice and then the preseason game. So you had to kind of grow and evolve and try to make those assessments as you went early on in the year. And, and again, I thought, we, I thought we got better as the year went on. You know, to add a couple new pieces, you know, to, to the offense. I think the biggest thing we try to do as coaches is try to evaluate the strengths of all of our players and try to feature them in that regard. You know, the game starts up front, as we all know. So controlling the line of scrimmage, both in the run game and the pass game, will be critical for us, just like it is for every team around the league. And then you try to put the pieces in place, you put them together, you feature what they do best, and hopefully you can make some plays and score some points. We got time for one more. Ralph Lafayette. Hey, Jason. Um, adding guys like Kenny Galladay and getting Saquon back, do you believe that the talent now is in place for your offense to be able to make a significant jump. And along with that, how important is it that your quarterback heading into his third year shows some significant improvement this year? Yeah, I think anytime you add pieces, whether it's in the draft or free agency, you're obviously doing that to help improve your team. Uh, create competition, you know, get guys out there that can help you. Again, make some plays, become more explosive. So we're excited about the additions we have. We're trying to get those guys acclimated. 
We're also excited about the guys that were with us before, and uh, they have a year under their belt now. You'll learn from those experiences and hopefully continue to grow. So that's the process we're in right now. We take it day by day. We're excited about this opportunity today, Wednesday. You learn from Tuesday. You try to get better on Wednesday and keep moving forward. So the guys are working hard. We love their approach. They're embracing what we're doing, and hopefully we're getting better each and every day. Is it significant? Is it important for Daniel Jones to also take that step of improvement this year? Yeah, it's important for everybody. You know, everybody on our team, you know, we talk about that every day. You, know, you improve day by day with every opportunity you get. You build on the good stuff. You learn from the other stuff and you keep moving forward. His approach is outstanding. His leadership has been off the charts and uh, we're excited to work with him.